Hey guys, it's uh, Carpenter Dustin here today. Today we're gonna make one of these little guys. I like to call this Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> you, uh, you have a great chance here to learn how to use hand tools, to learn how to saw, to learn how to hammer nails and things like that. So just a few things that you'll need. You'll need a saw, you'll need a hammer, some kind of clamps to hold down the wood as you work. You'll need a bunch of nails, some kind of marking tools like these are, I've got a ruler and a triangle and a protractor, a pencil, a sharpie, and then something to write on so we can do some things like that. So, and then of course you'll need some kind of a two by four, it doesn't need to be this long, but something like that as well. And then we'll get started. All right, so what you wanna do now is take your wood, we're gonna go ahead and mark some things on here because we're gonna to need to cut it. So measure twice, cut once, they always say, right? So we're gonna zoom in and I'm gonna show you some of these things up close. First, I'm gonna choose the side of the wood that I think looks best. This is ugly, so this is gonna be my bottom. So what I need to do is find the center of this. So it's three and a half inches wide and I know that that's one and three quarters is the middle. Then I'm gonna measure back from the front two and seven eighths on both sides, two and seven eighths. Then from my center, I'm just gonna trace a line from the center to that mark that I just made, like this. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, like this. And I like to mark where I'm gonna cut off, like that. Now, in order to get it to shape like this, we're gonna mark from this side. So, I'm gonna measure up from the bottom, one quarter of an inch, make a mark, and I'm gonna measure back from the front, two and a half inches, and then I'm gonna connect those lines. Just like this. Easy, then I like to mark my, what I'm gonna cut off. Now, from the very end, this will be easier to follow with your saw if we go ahead and mark it at one quarter of an inch here and here, and then connect those. This will give us something to follow with the saw. And then we'll go ahead and start cutting. All right. So now we're gonna clamp this down to hold the work because we're gonna get ready to cut it with the saw and it needs to hold still. So we'll clamp it tight, get the hand saw. Now I use the knuckle of my thumb to hold against the saw and I'm going to pull to start my cut. This. I'm gonna do that again. And I'm keeping my saw in line with that line. And as I pull, I'm starting to get a pretty good notch in the wood. And this is where I'm gonna follow this line all the way down. And as I get my cut started, I start to work back and forth. Okay. So we're just getting to the end of the cut. Come to the end. You can hear the sound change, and then there it goes. So that's that cut. Now we're going to take our clamps off, and we're going to lay this down flat. These are the first two marks that we made, and we will reclamp our wood to the table and make those cuts. So we'll start with this one. Again, using the knuckle of my thumb to guide the saw and pull. Do that a few times to get a cut started. And then we'll go back, go back and forth. We've got this piece off and now we need to cut off the other side. Again, using the knuckle of my thumb against the flat part of the blade. Put the saw on the line and give it a pull. Put the saw on the line, give it a pull. And then back and forth. We've got those two pieces cut off, and you can see now it's got a good point to it. It's starting to look like our friend Sonic over here, but we need to make it the right length. And if you remember, we started out with our ruler. We decided to make it basically the length of the ruler. So I'm gonna put it where I think the nose is and just make a mark. It's not really important. Then I can use my triangle, put it on the edge, and this will let me make a straight line across because this has got a 90 degree angle on it. Then I clamp this down again, hang this over the edge, use my clamps. 
get those tight. And then I'm going to make a cut here, right on that line. Using my thumb, pull, give it a pull, a couple of those, and then off we go. Almost. Just cut easy for the last little bit. And there it is. So that little bitty piece on there, you can just break it off. And I would recommend you take a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of go over those rough splintery edges and take those off so that we don't get any little hands full of splinters because that's not fun. I've done it plenty of times. So just take a little bit of time to knock those corners off. You won't hurt anybody. All right. Now, with this, it's much easier to draw the face whenever you can access it than it is once you have all the nails in. So we'll take a second and we'll just draw a little face on it and I'll show you what I come up with. So you can see, he looks very surprised. But at this point, all you really have to do is just start driving nails into it and you don't have to drive them all the way in. Just put a nail in and give it a tap. Put a nail in wherever you want it, give it a tap. Nice and easy. Maybe don't go too close to the edge because whenever you go close to the edge, things start to splinter and that can be bad. So we'll just keep popping nails in it like this until you've got as many as you want. Here's my surprised friend next to Sonic. It's very simple just to pop nails on the top of it and then you have a little hedgehog. I hope you had fun working today in the shop and hopefully you'll come back and join me for another project soon. Be strong and courageous.